Once an artist has become famous, people see a final product and they have no idea about the artist's journey. I film almost all of my gigs so anyone can see my progress and the entire journey of my career. I realized that my mission is to be an artist when I was just four years old. I suddenly had a revelation. Though I tried to do some other things in my life, I always came back to music. I write lyrics and melodies and they naturally fit my brother's backing tracks. Sometimes I also order arrangements from a talented composer Ilya Konstantinov from St. Petersburg. Flaviake is a combination of my Latin name Flavia and the Japanese ending. I created this name after visiting a London exhibition of a Japanese fashion designer named Issei Miyake. So you can see the rhyme Miyake Flaviake. At the same time, there is a deeper meaning behind this name, as my style is very much influenced by the philosophy of Japanese fashion designers and humorous elements of some Italian fashion labels, for example, Moschino. The image of an artist is perfect if they remain recognizable when displayed even in a caricature form. My fringe symbolizes sunbeams, the way they are painted in children's books and cartoons, and it also resembles anime-style hair. I always embellish my fringe with detailed parts of accessories, such as bracelets or earrings, and then I share my photos on the internet. When I was a teenager, I had some mysterious dreams about Madonna the singer. In those dreams, we were in Great Britain, where she would always take my hand and show me the right path, saying, go ahead. I interpreted those dreams as signs of my destiny, and that's why I'm in London now. Actually, when I was just seven years old, I knew that I would live in London in the future. I can't explain it, it was like some kind of magic. When I was 16, I used to sing at clubs, at teenage parties. But there was no way to progress as an artist in my hometown and I thought that London would be the best place for my music. Although I didn't know anything about the opportunities for musicians in London, my intuition didn't let me down because British culture allows musicians to show their work and allows for mistakes. An artist should be ready for the big stage and London gives the opportunity to learn make mistakes and gain experience. I really like Holland Park in London. It's not far from Hyde Park, but tourists normally don't know about it. It's a small park, but a wonderful one. It's very common in countries with few worldwide known celebrities that people are accustomed to see final projects, professionally directed shows, an artist's image created by the best stylists and music designed by the best producers. Russia is one of those countries. People don't have any idea about the journey to success and they compare striving artists to big stars. I guess if I sang just on the internet, it would be easy to hurt me with spiteful comments. But I always get feedback from a real audience. I can say that I have become immune to stupid comments on the internet. I did research on the importance of neckline design for people, clothes, price and branding. And my knowledge helps me to create the Flaviaki style, the same as art knowledge helped Lady Gaga and Freddie Mercury to create their images. Also, as I almost always take videos of my gigs, I want to look different in them, and that's what made me wear a lot of colorful outfits. You can sing perfectly at home a lot, but there is no progress without practicing on stage. In the very beginning, I was afraid of talking into the microphone in between songs. Then, I started preparing my speech in advance, but some accidents with equipment made me talk 
spontaneously. During my tenth performance, I realized that I could sing more than three songs on stage, and only after my thirtieth performance, I started to feel the audience. I began to understand where to start my speech, allow pause, and how to control the speed of my speech. It's difficult to name just one favorite song amongst what I have written up to now, because each of my songs demonstrates my abilities from a different angle. For example, the voice of nature reveals my ability to perform a dramatic song, "Womanly Woman," which tells people how it feels to be a real woman, demonstrates my potential in writing clever lyrics. "Little Girl" is a very intimate song that shows my inner thoughts, how it feels to be an adult and look like a little girl. The magic heat, made of four lines of my voice, shows my ability to perform and produce a multi-vocal composition. My Russian song "Molokko," which means milk in English, shows the technique of my vocal. And finally, "Electronic Boy," a song that people keep singing for days after having heard it for the first time. Shows my ability to perform a dance song and also my high-pitched technical vocal. While in electronic music, it's common that a slow vocal melody is sung over a fast beat. Also, it's the only song to this date in which I play flute. One time, I received advice. To define who I am as an artist, am I a womanly woman or a little girl, in order not to confuse people? As in my songs, I sing in the name of a real woman, a little girl, an anime girl, an androgyn, and even our mother nature. I believe that real Flaviaki is different. This condition can be perfectly described with an idea I got in my dream one night. Performance is not about being different; it's about enjoying to be different. You can find out a real Flaviaki in my song "Little Girl." I wish people could believe in themselves and be patient on their journey to their goals, as the world belongs to those who are patient.